Spurs who are doing the taping and uh, they're a little late now in the taping. So he may be a little bit late coming out here. Ali is anywhere from a seven to a nine to five choice, whereas Frazier, if you recall, was a six to five choice in their first fight, March 8, 1971, here in the Garden. Since then, Ali has fought 13 times, lost a split 12 round decision to Ken Norton. Frazier has fought only twice and was dethroned by George Foreman in Jamaica a year ago. And Joe was knocked down six times in less than two rounds. Van, the uh, weights are very interesting. You know, they did an unusual thing. They had the weigh-in yesterday for the main event. Normally, the weigh-in is held the day of the fight. And, uh, Ladies and gentlemen. Wait a second. Joe's got some announcements. I'll, I'll tell you about this later. Meet some of the fistic celebrities who are here on tonight. First, two of the greatest featherweight champions who ever graced the 126-pound throne, Willie Pep and Sandy Settler. Willie Pep and Sandy Settler. Gee, you remember those fellas because uh -huh. you described a lot of their fights during those 1,500 fights you've covered. They were great fighters, uh, Van. Very great. Will, will everyone be good enough to take a seat you so know, the, the man in the ring now is Tony Perez, Please. who is going to referee the main event. That's Tony Perez. He will referee the main event. That's a well-kept secret, too. Uh, Tony Perez is the referee. The third man, Arthur Come McCarthy, up, you gentlemen. may recall, was the referee in the first fight. And they're Willie trying to get Pitt, Sandy Sadler into the ring right now. And five-time welterweight. Middleweight this place is just jammed with celebrities. Uh, George Allen, the head coach of the Washington Redskins, who's a great fight fan, is sitting over to our right. And everywhere you look. Here's uh, Sandy Sadler, man. Former great featherweight champion. He's now in the Hall of Fame. And there is Willie Pep with him, the Will of the Wisp from Hartford, Connecticut. They both look good. They were great. Former... Here's Emil Griffith. Emil, Emil Griffith. Griffith, many times welterweight and middleweight champion. Five times a champion. These young men are sartorially and resplendent, Van. You took the words right out of champion. my mouth. That's, uh, if I Giardello. was a fashion reporter, Joey he's uh, very resplendent and green with a fur collar. Also, a former world middleweight champion, Rocky Graziano. Ah, <laughs> here comes Rocky. Preceding him is Joey Giardello, former middleweight champion. These were real good fighters, Here's Joey Giardello, here's Rocky Graziano. Giardello and Graziano, they never fought each other. And, and two former light heavyweight champions are in the house. Willie Pastrano from New Orleans and Jose Torres. Jose Torres. Willie Pastrano, the Will of the West from New Orleans, from a light heavyweight champion, is coming in. Loach, third loach, number 15, want him to stand up, come up if he will. One of the most popular champions in the history of the game, Floyd Patterson. Here's Floyd uh, Patterson. Willie Pastrano shaking hands. It's Floyd Patterson here. He told me he was going to be over in Europe, the van. I don't think we'll see uh, George Foreman. We were talking him yesterday at the weigh-in and he did come well, to the weigh-in and did appear on television but I asked him if he would be here tonight and he says I don't believe I'll be there. For heavyweight championship honors comes from California has shown himself to great advantages in a number of bouts he's ranked number three among the heavyweights here he is Ken Norton. Ken Norton. Ken Norton coming in he's getting a mixed reception man. Some of them don't like him, I guess, because he Ken beat Ali Norton. once and lost to Ali another Come time. Up, Ken. Ken Norton is uh, supposed to fight George Foreman for the title. They're talking about a match. I haven't seen him yet, Van. We're waiting for Ken Norton. If Here's possible. Patterson. Here's Floyd Patterson. Coming in on the right-hand side of the ring. Floyd Here's Patterson. Floyd Patterson. Always gets the greatest hand here. What a tremendously popular fighter he is. He 
looks good, too, doesn't he, Don? Oh, he looks wonderful. He's a nice guy. Here's Kenny Norton. Here Kenny he is, Norton. Ken Norton, and he gets that much-awaited shot at the heavyweight championship of the world. And he broke Ali's jaw, and he won a and decision over Ali, and then turned right around and lost Ali in the second fight. The last in the introductions. He's the boss of the game today from California. Here is George Foreman. He did George make it. Foreman. He did make it. George Foreman. He's not too popular here either. He certainly uh, deserves better than that. He's a fine champion. He certainly is, uh, Don. We were in Mexico City covering ah. the Olympic Games when he won the gold medal. Right. Uh, defeating the Russian, and I, I'm sure you recall when he waved the little American flag and captured the hearts of Pike Here he big. is. Was he six feet four? Here's the head man, the heavyweight champion of the world, George Hey, he's Palmer. dressed, isn't he? So now, now let's let's give what a, a big hand man to he them. Is. Six foot In the four. Order that they're standing from left to right. Before he beat here's Joe Frazier in Jamaica. Former champion. Here's George Joey Giardello. Here's Willie Pastrano. Here's Willie Pep. Here's Joe Bostic running down the list of fighters here's in the Sandy ring. I just started to say here's before he beat uh, Joe Frazier. His uh, trainers took him up in the mountains and uh, worked on that heavy Joe bag so he could punch down. And punch down he did on uh, Joe Frazier. Van, I just got the official attendance. 20,000, not 19,000. 20,748. A gross gate of $1,053,688. How about that? That's just Madison Square Garden alone, uh, Don. Oh. And they, it's standing room only here at Madison Square Garden. And... Uh, the tickets are uh, top priced at $100, but we're going on the outside for much more than that. Then I started to talk about the weights before. At the weigh-in, which was yesterday, Frazier came in at 209 pounds, which is uh, three and a half pounds heavier than he was for the first fight with Ali. He was 205 and a half that time. And Muhammad Ali, who weighed 215 in the first fight, got off three pounds to come in at 212 pounds uh, yesterday. Now, it's interesting to note that Frazier, who was 205 and a half when he beat Ali on decision, ballooned up to 214 when he was knocked out by George Foreman last year. Now he's gotten down to 209, which I think is a lot more respectable, Van. You know, one thing uh, that concerns me, you know, Ali, and we were mentioning that earlier, his legs are more important than his hands, which are said to be all right. He's never been, as you know, much of a knockout puncher. And of his 31 knockout victims, Cleveland Williams, as I recall, was about the only fighter where he really was a tiger. That three-and-a-half-year layoff uh, can do a lot for the legs, take a lot away from him. And I've noticed that although he proclaims that he will dance all night, he seems to fight more with a flat-footed shuffle after a few rounds, and that's going to be interesting to see tonight. Frazier's always the aggressor. Here's the referee, Tony Perez. A uh, van... Uh most of the big fights here in New York have been refereed by Arthur McCanty, if you notice. And uh, there, th there is talk that one of the camps didn't want McCanty for this fight, and Tony Perez is the referee. But I've got to dispute that in my own feeling. Uh, I don't think the New York Commission could be dominated or would be dominated uh, by either of the fighters and would make their own selection as the referee. Now, Tony Perez, in his own right, is a fine referee. And the fact is that uh, Arthur McCanny did referee the previous fight when Frazier won, and his vote, of course, part of the unanimous vote for Frazier. But um, I, I think they just wanted to give Tony Perez a well-deserved chance here tonight. Well, as you recall, McCanny uh, did vote in favor of Joe Frazier. I believe, if uh, memory serves me, it was 8-6-1, and one, his vote in the fight, and that... Uh, his, uh, his vote was the closest. His was 8-6-1, one. one was 9-6, and one was uh, way out, 11-4, right, all for cool. Frazier. I don't think there's any question in the, the so-called experts who cover the fights about the genuine dislike that Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali have for each other. I hear Muhammad Ali's on his way out of the dressing room, Van. 
you so know we're, what a, you... we're approaching the moment of decision here at Madison Square Garden for Super Fight 2. Muhammad Ali is supposedly on his way into the garden. I don't know yet, Van, what corner he's going to take. We're uh, in a neutral corner, right under the uh, announcer, Joe Bostic. Van and I are right below Joe there. The referee is in a far neutral corner, and the fighters will oc occupy the other two corners, one on the left and one on the right. Muhammad Ali on his way in. I don't think the crowd has noticed it yet. Now they're just beginning to pick him up. Here he comes. Don, you've covered 33 heavyweight championship fights. Uh, have you found any more excitement in the previous 33, although this is not even a championship fight? Well, it certainly feels like one, Dan, uh, a van, and there's no question that the winner of this fight will go on to a title shot. Here comes Muhammad Ali. He's already dancing before he gets to the ring, and what a tremendous following he has, and he's a great showman. And you might call him a great press agent. He's being preceded now by Angelo Dundee, who is a great trainer and has handled uh, Muhammad Ali since he started. And here's Drew Brown coming in, and look at this crowd at Madison Square Garden in New York. Waiting for Joe Frazier now. As I mentioned a moment ago, Don, they were a little late in taping Joe Frazier, and that's the reason it could be too. He's trying to make Mohammed wait a little. You figure that might be some strategy? Well, I don't think anybody can psych Mohammed out of anything, but he in turn has psyched a lot of people out. And he certainly did try to psych out Joe Frazier for this one. He got him upset the other day. But uh, we'll we'll know in a few minutes. Here comes Joe Frazier, smoking Joe. Frazier wearing the hood. That's right. He'll operate in the corner to our left. Muhammad Ali is to our right. They are both in the same corners they were in the last time, Van, I just remember. Frazier was to our left and Ali to our right. That's Joe Frazier. Well, he's getting a combination of cheers and boos. Now, Yancey Durham, who was so great and who handled Joe Frazier and brought him from that slaughterhouse in Philadelphia to the heavyweight championship of the world, is no longer with him. Joe Frazier gets a chance to prove tonight what he thought he proved three years ago, that he's a better fighter than Muhammad Ali. Although Smoke and Joe won the decision in that brawl, many, including Ali, remained unconvinced. So Joe wants to prove it for good tonight, and then he wants a return match with the only man ever to beat him, champion George Foreman. But tonight, the popular ex-champion has to answer questions. Was the Foreman bout an off night, or did the historic fight with Ali take too much out of him? Now the moment is at hand for Frazier, who at 5'11 and a half again gives away three and a half inches in height and six and a half inches in reach to Muhammad Ali. Joe was born in Buford, South Carolina, January 12, 1944. Now lives in Philadelphia. He's won 30 of his 31 fights with 25 knockouts. You're looking at the man many consider the most spectacular athlete of all time, Muhammad Ali. If Ali is not the most spectacular, at least he's the most controversial. Yet, he's the greatest ticket seller of them all. Muhammad Ali was born Cassius Clay in Louisville, Kentucky. January 17, 1942, now lives in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Winner of the heavyweight championship 10 years ago, stripped of the crown, reinstated, outpointed by Frazier for the title three years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, may we ask, firstly, that everyone take a seat because everyone else wants to enjoy this great bout. Please take your seats so that everyone can enjoy the bout. This all important heavyweight elimination bout this evening coming to you from the world's most famous sports arena, Madison Square Garden in New York, 
is under the supervision of the New York State Athletic Commission. All three of the commissioners are present this evening. The chairman, Mr. Edwin B. Dooley. The co-commissioners are Messrs. Ken Sherwood and Manny Manuel Gonzalez, the New York State Athletic Commission under whose auspices this bout is being presented. And now, and now, this is the headline event on this evening's boxing program from Madison Square Garden in New York. The distance is 12 rounds. The officials whom the New York State Athletic Commission has assigned here for this bout are as follows. The judges are Jack Gordon and Tony Castellano. The timekeeper is Freddie Abietello. The keeping counting for the knockdowns at the bell is Jimmy Devlin. And now, the principals in this headline event for the evening coming from Philadelphia at what 209 pounds even. He's wearing white trunks, former world heavyweight champion, Smokin' Joe Frazier. A tremendous hand for Joe. Ron, does he look a little tense to and you more than the last fight? Louisville, About the Kentucky, same, I'd say, Van. At 212 pounds, he's, he's wearing white chunks also. Wearing white trunks, former world heavyweight champion also, Mr. Muhammad Ali. And now our referee is here to give the instructions, Mr. Tony Perez. Let's pick this up. Of the newest athletic commission. Here are some of the most important ones. If you score a knockdown, you must go to the farthest neutral corner and stay there until I tell you to come out. The mandatory eight count is on effect. Three knockdowns in any round will end the fight right there. Now for the seconds. Angelo, Eddie, if a fighter is on the floor and the bell rings, the bell will not save anybody from being knocked out. The fighter must get up by himself. Please stay away from the ring. The only exception is the last round, which means the fight is over. Any questions? I'll enforce the rules. Okay. I'll enforce the rules. I want you to be sure of the hip punches he throws and the low blows. I enforce the rules. Very good. Good luck to the They were the respective us. managers talking. First, Eddie Fudge for Frazier, then Angelo Dundee for Ali. We're waiting for the bell for round one, and there it is, and here's Don Dumpy. Thank you, Van Patrick. Smoke and Joe pouring in. He will try not to let Ali have too much of the ring. He'll try to cut him off. Both boys a little bit tense. Frazier's coming in wide open. Wide open. Clinch. 
It's been a good round so far for Ali. Frazier finally gets into the body. Tony Perez gets him apart. Less than a minute to go. Frazier taking a lot of headshots. almost over. There's the bell at the end of round one, and Ali gave it the famous chuckle at the end of the round and goes back to his corner. There's the corner of Joe Frazier. In with him, facing head on, his manager, Eddie Futch. On the left-hand side, Milt Bailey, and the other man, Dr. John Thompson. Now, Joe Frazier took an awful lot of headshots in that round, and we wonder how that's going to affect him later on. He rarely hit Ali, who had a tremendous round. He got in a few body shots, but not enough to prove valuable. The first round unquestionably went to Muhammad Ali. You notice Eddie Futch is talking to uh, Joe Frazier. Now they're going over to Ali's uh, corner, and Don, he's fighting, it seems to me, a different type of fight than the first fight uh, with Joe Frazier. Well, he's, he's more like the old Ali, uh, moving around in the corner. Drew Brown, Walter Youngblood, and of course his uh, manager, Angelo Dundee. But he's coming up with, to round two. Loaded with confidence, too, isn't he? Oh, yes. That's the old Muhammad Ali before the previous Frazier fight. Frazier is smiling. Good left hook by Frazier. I doubt if there'll be any clowning in the corner by Muhammad Ali tonight as there was the last time. Now, Ali is starting to miss, and Joe is countering him. Frazier smiling, talks to Ali. question is if Frazier can hold up under this punishment and Ali slows down. Frazier always a slow starter. I never remember him winning the first round of a, an important bout, but he won plenty of others. Oh, he got in there. Ali came right back. The 
referee thought the bell rang. The referee didn't, he, that was about 10 seconds left to go. The referee thought he heard the bell. The bell had not rung. There's the bell. I started to look around. I couldn't figure what happened, and Ali had Frazier in trouble. He had him in trouble right above us here, and uh, the referee, Tony Perez, thought the bell had clanged. Tony, the fighters to their corner. Well, Tony pulled a gap there. He thought the bell had rung, and the commissioner, Joe Yaka, is going over. Here's a replay. Let's have a look at it again, and there is a tremendous left hook, which is the best uh, blow of the fight landed by Joe Frazier, but then Ali came right back. And he had Frazier in trouble when the referee moved in and sent the fighters to their corner. We're looking at uh, Muhammad Ali right now. He's still bristling with confidence, and he looks like the Ali of old. But the one thing that Frazier will have to do if he can withstand this punishment is slow Ali down somehow. We're coming up to round three. There's the buzzer. And Ali goes into his shuffle. Here's Frazier, and here's Don. There's the bell. Frazier forcing the action. Ali setting himself to try for a knockout. They're putting everything into this. Ali is going to try for a knockout here. He thought he had Joe in trouble. Frazier taking a lot of headshots all through the fight. Ali misses a lot. No question about it, these are great fighters. This is the old Muhammad Ali now. Two minutes left in the round. Frazier can't seem to untrack himself. coming on now. Almost a replica of the first fight. Ali is missing a lot now and getting gun shy. A minute to go in the round. Ali making the clinch. Frazier coming back after a bad two rounds. some hard body shots. That's what he wants to do. There's the bell ending round three. Frazier came back, as you pointed out, Don. He's a slow starter, but he came back in that round, and Muhammad Ali was a little more cautious. And Frazier continued to land those body blows, and he got that good left hook. I noticed, too, that Joe is using his right hand more in this fight than the one three years ago here in the Garden when he won the decision from Muhammad Ali, and Ali is fighting a little bit of a different fight himself. And Ali is using his right hand very well, and there was question about it being hurt. Apparently it's not. Both of the physical examinations showed these fighters to be in top-notch condition, but 
you begin to wonder again how long they can keep up this tremendous pace. Somebody's got to tire soon. It's been a great fight up to now. We're coming up to round four. It is scheduled for 12. And plenty of excitement at old Madison Square Garden. I must point out that most of the clinches are made by Muhammad Ali. It is he who breaks off the action. Wait for that trumpet cop. Go back dancing. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Don't get on to Back, back into it. Ali doing the holding. It is scheduled for 12 rounds. This is round four, a minute gone in round four. 12 round bout. So if, if Ali's got the spring in his legs, he might keep dancing all night. They're just above us. Tony Perez gets them apart. <laughs> Ali seems in much better shape than he was three years ago. Much better. He's got the old bounce in his legs. Aggressiveness counts in New York State, and Frazier is the aggressor, even though Ali may be scoring the more punches. 30 seconds left in this round. Frazier's still smiling. I think two prominent items have been borne out here. The fact that Ali's hand is all right. There was some concern about Joe Frazier's head. The last fight three years ago that he sustained, but he seemingly is all right. As you mentioned, he was smiling a moment ago and a little earlier. He was talking to Muhammad Ali. There's no question they don't like each other. But I think Frazier's gaining confidence now, and he's coming on strong after the first two rounds. Rough sailing for him. There's a thought that maybe Frazier sat down a, lo a little hard that time, Van, but I think it was because his corner took so long to get the stool in the ring. Somebody uh, goofed over there. That stool should be in there almost at the bell. There's the buzzer again, both fighters to their feet, and we're ready to go now with round five. <coughs> Muhammad Ali, round five. It's a 12-round bout. Once again, Ali takes the lead early in the round. <laughs> Ali, Ali has been dropping his gloves a little bit, and that's dangerous, because Joe Frazier has the fastest left hook in the business. <laughs> Ali may have been hurt. Hurt. 
Two minutes left in this round. Round five of 12. Frazier couldn't get set there, even though he had Ali on the ropes. That box, that box. Frazier getting a little puffy around the right eye. A minute to go in this round. Stick him right, you dust. Solid shot by Ali. Wild by Frazier. Half a minute to go in the round. Frazier saw the opening, but he couldn't follow through. And the bell ending round five. Ali seems to be tiring a little bit. And Joe Frazier has been the aggressor. Under the New York rules and scoring, aggression means a lot. Pride is perhaps the greatest single factor in this fight. And they're talking over there to Joe Frazier. They're applying an ice pack uh, on, the, uh, on his forehead. I don't see any particular swelling on the forehead. They're putting it below the right eye which I said was a, looking a little puffy. And Joe spits a little blood. He seems to be gaining confidence though with each round and Mohammed, as we mentioned is slowing down a little bit and you've got to give a tremendous amount of credit uh, to Frazier after his rocky two rounds at the beginning that he has come back and come back strong. And I think now Ali has a lot more respect and there's the buzzer and here we go with round six. Coming up to the halfway mark of this 12 round bout between these two great ex champions. Some of those punches were blocked partially. Keeping Frazier off balance, leading into the front. They're trading. Two minutes left in that round. The old alley jab. Alley's outscoring Frazier about four to one. Frazier hitting a little bit the harder. Dance. to go in this round.
didn't land. They did. Ali is out smarting Frazier. Six. Ali using that left jab very effectively. Let's have a look now at the slow mo of that one two combination, the left and the right, as thrown by Muhammad Ali. He's keeping Frazier off balance. But Frazier keeps going. And there's the left, and here's the right that comes in. And both of them land beautifully as he utilized the one two combination. But Frazier just doesn't slow down or back up. He just keeps boring in with every round. Yes, but Van, I think he's pretty well falling behind in, in rounds one and lost. If Frazier is going to make a move, unless he knocks out Ali, he's got to make that move starting now. He can't afford to give any more rounds away. Eddie Futch over there who took uh, the place of the late uh, Yancey Durham. He's not one of the more publicized uh, trainers, but he does a magnificent job and has great respect and has done a great job with Frazier. Round seven, it is scheduled for 12. This is as good as the last fight. Frazier is grunting as he throws those punches in. Tony Perez gets them apart. for Frazier on punching. <laughs> Frazier's left took unquestionably his best punch. Ali with a half headlock. Frazier talks to Ali. Half a minute to go on the round. is talking to Ali about something I don't know what a good double hook by Frazier there's the foul that's by far the best round for Joe Frazier he landed two good solid left hooks and we're going to have a look Frazier went back to the corner smiling all right let's have a look now at Joe Frazier well, that's a solid left hook. He comes in with a right hand. And you'll see another great left by Frazier. His best round of the fight. And he went back to his corner just bristling with confidence. Now let's watch it again. 
as he tries to set him up for that left hook, which is Frazier's best punch, and there it is. That landed solidly right on the right side of the jaw of Muhammad Ali. A good round for Joe Frazier. <laughs> Frazier to his feet. That's Dr. Thompson there, giving him his mouthpiece. The buzzer, and here's Don. Coming up to round eight, Joe Frazier turned the fight around a little bit on the last round. It's a 12-round bout. <coughs> Alley opening fast again. Oh! Good thing for Alley that that missed. any question as Van said that Ali is uh, respecting Frazier a lot more now. Ali doing the holding. Big body shot. Ali looked a little bit arm weary for the first time. over. Oh! Got it! That hurt him! There's the bell, and they have to pry him apart. They don't want to go back to their corners. Here's Muhammad Ali going back to his corner. And there's no question that uh, Frazier stung him with that good right hand. And those two hard left hands in the previous round. There's the right hand that caught Ali and that rocked him right back on his heels. And he seemed a little arm weary. He might have punched himself out quite a bit. He has slowed down as we got set for round nine. But that blow that landed just before the bell took its toll on Muhammad Ali. And Angelo Dundee is working feverishly over Mohammed and talking to him. He doesn't seem to be in any deep trouble. He just seems to be doing tired of this time. I, I thought his arm was tired in the last round. Look at Frazier. He's really excited now. He can feel that he has a real shot. A double start in that round. Frazier is so confident at this point. Round nine of a 12 rounder. Yeah. 
Ali's arms are tired. Frazier is getting careless, and Ali is putt shotting him. Half the round over. Ali's face is getting puffy. Ali is bleeding from the nostrils. I'm not sure it's the left or the right side. Could be both. to go in the round. Now it's a battle for survival. Tony Perez has to get between them. Let's go back to Ali's corner. And Drew Brown over there congratulating him on the round. He did come back. I don't believe he has the steam in his punches that he had earlier. He was a little arm weary, but he did come back in that round. But you can't take anything away from Frazier as we get set to go into round 10. He keeps boring in. He did land that left hand again. Ali apparently asked Angelo Dundee about the round coming up, Don, and he uh, took a look himself to be sure that the scoreboard says round 10. But it's going to be a tough one to judge right now because Frazier came on in those middle rounds. And I want to tell you, the last three rounds of this fight is going to have a lot to do with the decision if it goes that far, Don. That's right. Then we have the 10th, 11th, and 12th. Round 10. Frazier is not grinning now, and he may have hurt Ali again. Frazier getting puffy around the eyes, below them, and there's a welt below his right eye. This bout, I must say, has been fought at an amazing pace for heavyweights, unquestionably, faster than the last one. There's a, a spot or two of blood on the right front of Muhammad Ali, his blood, from his nose. That was a grazing left. <laughs> Ali short with those jabs.
Frazier is teeing off. Frazier's new strategy is the right to the body and followed by the left to the head. A minute to go in the round. almost over. Right at the bell. Frazier landed that left hand again. Now uh, Muhammad Ali is bleeding from the nose and Joe Frazier is bleeding from the mouth. And they're applying the ice pack on the head of Joe Frazier. Very warm here in Madison Square Garden. As we mentioned earlier, it was some 55 degrees outside, and we had a rain as we came into the garden tonight. We're coming up to round 11, and these are important rounds. Angelo Dundee uh, working on Muhammad Ali. No knockdowns, as you know, no knockdowns yet. <laughs> I think they're both aware, Don, that these two rounds right now could tell the story in this fight. There's the bell. Round 11 of a 12-rounder. That's the first time in any round that Frazier got in the first good punch. been doing the holding, making the clinch. <laughs> Under New York scoring, the bout could end in a draw. Opening up. Thank you, Wild. to go in round 11. So far, a good round for Ali. It was in round 11 the last time that Frazier staggered Ali. Almost over, round 11 of a 12 rounder. Go! 
Well, the crowd loves it, and uh, it's just been amazing to me that two heavyweights can punch it out the way they have for 11 rounds. They are superbly conditioned, and with round 12 coming up, Don, uh, a lot depends right here. We're looking at Joe Frazier. Joe seems to be in good condition. He's not hurt. Muhammad Ali doesn't appear to be hurt. And they can just uh, pull out all the stops right here as we come up to this final round. And the judges are going to have a tough time in this one. Tony Castellani and Jack Gordon. And of course the referee, Tony Perez. There's the 10 second buzzer and we're getting ready to go now into the final round at Madison Square Garden. Frazier's already out there. Uh, now they shake hands and here is Don. There's no tomorrow. A minute to go in the fight, one minute. There's the countdown. What a finish! Judges Tonis, Castellani, Jack Gordon, and referee Tony Perez will have their work cut out for them. The New York police surrounding the ring. You're looking at Joe Frazier. Both these athletes in superb condition. And they look like they could go another five or six rounds easily. The great fight, reminiscent of the first fight. And Don is getting into the ring, and we'll be getting the announcement on the winner. And as Don mentioned a moment ago, of course, there can be a draw in this fight. So we'll just have to wait. 
millions all over the world who are looking in, and we hope you've enjoyed the fight as much as we have. Trying to keep the people back out of the ring, and they're climbing practically all over us here at ringside at Madison Square Garden. Don is into the ring. A sellout crowd of more than 21,000 here at Madison Square Garden. Breaking records. And a good fight between a Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier. And you can hear the chant in the background. Ali, as his followers, who believe that he has won this fight. And any question about his hand or his legs were dispelled in this fight tonight. At 32 years of age, a remarkable, superbly conditioned athlete. And Joe Frazier, who is two years his junior at 30, and the former heavyweight champion of the world, came back himself after the first two rounds were very rough for him. But he came back and took everything that Ali had to offer and was very much in this fight. They're climbing all over the ring here at Madison Square Garden and trying to get into the ring. Oh, you want to get over here? They're totaling up now the points. You can almost feel the electricity while we await Watch the wires here. They're almost kicking the wires over. The ring, they have just about as many uh, on the ring apron now. Well, there went the plugs. There went the plugs, man. Come on, fella, let's go, eh? This is a zoo. So I hope that the wiring is still with us because they were climbing all over us here trying to get into the ring. We're looking now at Muhammad Ali who has a little bit of a concerned expression on his face as you can see. There's Blue Brown walking around. And the police trying to keep the ring clear as possible. And that's not a very easy job. Try to get a look at uh, Frazier. There's the brother of Muhammad Ali, Ramon. You can see the blood there on the face of Muhammad Ali, who took some real shots in the fight, there's no question. We're still waiting for the decision, and that, of course, the delay will give you the idea that it's got to be a closely scored fight. It's just possible we could have a third Muhammad Ali Joe Frazier fight. Everybody in the garden is standing. Now let's see if we can get uh, Joe Bostic. Waiting for the decision. We're no still waiting. decision until the ring is clear. And they have announced they will not render the decision until the ring has been cleared. There's Joe Bostic, you can spot him in the middle of everybody, and the New York's finest trying to clear the ring. Please clear the ring for the benefit of the fans, the spectators who have paid their way in. I just hope they don't uh, rip the equipment out here. Even the writers are on their feet here, and they're from all over the world covering this fight here in New York's Madison Square Garden. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a decision. May I have your attention, please? Here is 
your decision. decision. The winner by unanimous decision is Muhammad Ali. There it is, the winner by unanimous decision, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. He landed the most punches. Muhammad and Ali. is trying to get to Muhammad Ali. We decision. have a monitor up in the ring, and maybe we can uh, rerun some of I'm the I'm going to try to get Muhammad this ring Ali over here. Go ahead, He's Don. the winner. He reverses the defeat of three years ago. Let me throw here, please. Let me throw here. Let me throw up. You see Ali is trying to get to Dumpy. Muhammad, Muhammad, I want to congratulate you. Don't do it, Muhammad. Muhammad, will you turn to our camera over here, please? I want to ask you about the fight. First, I want to congratulate you. That face I didn't recognize. <laughs> Don got near him, and I think they just uh, sort of pushed him away there. This is the one thing they said would not happen, that they would uh, have this ring blocked off. I... Uh, We don't have that as we uh, wait here as Don tries to get to uh, Muhammad Ali. We're just waiting to see if we can uh, contact Don again up there. Super Fight 2 was a presentation of Top Rank Incorporated. Produced by Madison Square Garden Productions Incorporated, the Forum Boxing Incorporated, and Top Rank Incorporated. Executive producer was Mike Mallets. The telecast was coordinated by Jack Price. Produced by Chet Forty. Directed by Lou Bopicelli. Technical director, Bern Hendrickson. Technical supervisor was Mort Romanoff. 